Hey, I'm Sapphire. Want to hear something scary? So this story is 100% creepy and 100% true. So my aunt, my cousin, and her youngest sister, Genesis, who was maybe three at the time, were in their townhouse in Glendale. My aunt and my older cousin were talking outside of the master bedroom, and Genesis was playing inside of the room by herself. And out of nowhere, they hear Genesis start to scream. So my aunt and my cousin go inside the room to see what's wrong, and they see Genesis crying hysterically and grabbing books and toys and pillows and just throwing them in this one corner of the room. And they ask her, Genesis, what's wrong? Tell the little red girl I don't want to play with her. Uh, so my aunt and my cousin grab Genesis and they get out of the house and they head to McDonald's to go get a Happy Meal so that they can calm her down. So when they got home, they remembered that Genesis made a huge mess in the room, so they went to go clean it up. But when they went inside the room, everything was already put away. We're leaving again, so they left the house again. So my aunt was telling her neighbor at the time about what had happened and what Genesis said she saw. And her neighbor told her that a little girl had actually died in that complex 15 years earlier. They moved out like six months later. <laughs> I was maybe like seven when my cousin told me that story and I remember being like, yeah, I'm not visiting you guys ever again. <laughs> I was actually talking to my cousin Genesis about this recently over the holidays and she said that she actually used to play with that little girl a lot. So I guess that little girl like wasn't always scary to her. I guess maybe it was just that one time she just like didn't want to play with her. This is part of the reason why I don't want kids. Because if my kid, seriously, if my kid started like talking to nobody, I'd be like, nope, I'm out.